and welcome to a Pony Joe video. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking the paint off this skateboard. I took all the wheels off because you know that gets boring. And I'm going to strip the paint down with this old uh, stripper stuff that I found. And then I'm going to give it to my niece to make a new design on it. Now, I I found this skateboard, oh, where did I find this? I found it abandoned. I mean, you can probably already tell that, I don't know how much longer this is gonna last because it's cracked on the sides there. It's probably, I'll probably need replacement grip tape. I'll probably work on that too, maybe. If not, I'll just take that off. So, what I'm going to do is hopefully not burn my legs apart or burn my, yeah, burn my legs apart, burn my legs because of this old stuff here. It says dab on heaviest possible coat. Do not brush back and forth. Paint is always much thicker in grooves, recoat group, wait, oh, dab. Oh, I got a dab? Dab. But uh no we're gonna we're gonna see what happens. Hopefully I don't whew, hopefully I don't really destroy anything up here. This stuff is old. Why don't you brush back and forth, I wonder? Oh well, All right, let's see. Let's see what happens when I use this. I should probably have some gloves on, but you know, who needs gloves? Well, okay, I take that back. A lot of the, there's a lot of people that do need gloves but I've touched so much chemicals before, I'm not even gonna worry about it. So let's see, let's see what I can do without destroying anything in my house and on my lap. Oh boy, here we go. Big old glob. You know, I think for this, I'll just go back and forth anyways. Whew. That's definitely working all right. This stuff has got to be at least a couple of years. Well, not a couple. I mean, like, oh, oh, long. This this stuff is old. Now it said to dab, but I'm not gonna dab it. I'm just gonna brush it. Hopefully, I don't burn myself. Now, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of other ways to do this, but I'm just going to do it this way. Of course, then again, I don't even know if paint, uh, skateboards have paints on them anymore. I know, I think a lot of them have the uh, heated, the heated stuff. 
but we're just gonna go with the paint stripper and see what happens. Hopefully I don't get it on my clothes. I guess probably what I should have done is do this outside. At least in the open air. But, oh well. paint this strip stuff on the board back and forth back and forth did it say back and forth do not brush back and forth oh well Ah, uh, it doesn't say anything about up and down, though. All right, so let's see. Get on my leg. Alrighty. So, up and down, up and down. So, Alrighty, so, got it coated. I kind of wish I had something to wash the brush off because I did I did find this brush okay so mm -hmm. all right so what I have now other than a big mess. Other than a big mess on my lap. If you can see it on the that was bad lighting is a bunch of the stripper stuff I'm gonna let that sit I don't know how long it says um, old paint several minutes first time required okay so it says a few minutes So I guess what I'll do is I'll let this sit. Oh, I'm gonna try to fix some of these other spots I couldn't get because it was on my lap. Now the bad thing is when I did a uh, when I did my uh, table over I have over there with out of an old desk. I got the I, I bought the spray can uh, the spray can stuff, and yes, it's an actual thing you can buy, and I got just a tad on my hand when I was doing that, and whew, I tell you that was some strong stuff I got I had. Uh, 
Okay. So I'm gonna let this sit. Um, probably somewhere. Okay, I'll put it right up here on my little bread box thing. Hopefully I don't touch my picture. And I'm going to come back to that in a, a few minutes. See what it does, and then I'll get back and see if it scrapes off. So I hope enjoy the long wait, even though it'll be like that, and I'll come back. All right. So it's been about maybe roughly ten minutes or so. Got a little extra precaution precaution here. Turns out I went through the truck holes on that and hit my lap. And I didn't know, and I put my arms right on my lap. And guess what I found? I found the stripper stuff. So, right now, I'm going to put this board down and see if this starts to scrape off now. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, let's see, I do believe it said plastic, use Bix paint scraper or plastic putty knife. Okay. So, well, I don't have, I don't really have one of those stripper tool things, but I do have an old, an old credit card to use. An old credit card. So, we're going to see if that works. Oh, wow. I don't one thing, no, I think I'm going to continue this outside tomorrow. I don't know what's doing more damage, is it stripper or the, to the board or the to my card I'm using. So prob I don't think it's, I think it's gonna require more, more coats. I'll get, I'll get this stuff scraped and I'll I'm gonna show you what it looks like afterwards, but I don't think it's gonna work. Feels like it's dripped on my leg. And again, I couldn't. I probably was not putting enough pressure on it with a credit card. Now I know a lot of people are probably thinking, oh you're not, a, you don't skateboard, why are you doing this? Well it's nothing like I don't have enough time to learn how to do this anyways. Says I've always wanted to pick it up and 
do something, try it out. I may not have the build for it. That's for sure. But. Probably when I was younger, I always wanted to try it out, but. I could really never go anywhere to try because we never had places. Then I normally put it away. Put it, put it to the side, never bothered try, thinking about it again, but you know. But, oh well. All right, so this is gonna actually take longer than I thought with this card and probably, I'll probably need to put a thicker coat on it. But I'm gonna just, I'll probably start it tomorrow Probably in the morning. Cause this is, this is this isn't gonna work with the card. And I believe I still have some mechanic gloves outside that I'll probably end up grabbing to use with this. So I mean in all it's not it's coming off. But I think what I'll probably end up doing, like I said, I will probably go outside and start this again. I mean, so far, if I don't burn my hands, any access stripper, I mean, in, in all, this is what it's gotten down to so far, if you can see it. So I think what I'll do is I'll hold off for this. I'll probably, I'll probably just get a wire wheel, even though it says not to use a wire wheel. I'll use a wire wheel on this. It's got some sitting in those grooves. But, all right, well, I'm gonna leave it here like I've been saying. And I will start it tomorrow, first thing in the morning. I'm gonna leave it on this piece of wood here. So it doesn't really do anything bad. Check my shorts, make sure I don't have any on my leg. Okay, I don't. So I'm gonna continue this in the morning. And tomorrow morning, We'll go from there, see what we get. Hopefully we get a good thing. If not, I think I'm just gonna paint over it anyways. I think I got, I don't think I got any white paint, but I'm gonna find some white paint somewhere and I will paint it white or black. And let my niece have at it with her drawing skills and then I'll show you guys the end, end results. So I'll be back tomorrow in the morning to continue this. So sit tight and I will be right back with everyone. All right guys, it was the next day. I did work on it. I got this far with the board, with that old uh, paint strip stuff. So I think what I'm gonna probably do is Probably the next day, I'll find some sandpaper, give it a good sanding, find some paint, paint over it. I'll probably head to Walmart tomorrow and then get some paint and then go from there. Give it to my, give it to my niece to have her go crazy on it, make her design and pick up the, and I'll go with her to pick out some colors unless she has some already. I'm not sure, but no, it's, it's, it's not too bad looking. So, I don't know what she's going to draw on it. Hopefully, she'll come up with something good. So, stay tuned until the next one, and that's it. All right, it's day whatever working on the board. Sanded this part of it off. Now, I'm going to take the grip tape off, and I'm not too impressive 
of what that board looks like underneath the grip tape. But I'm still gonna paint it and go from there. So putting white on it and then I'm gonna let that dry, give that to my niece to have her draw whatever she wants to on it and then paint it. But I'm gonna paint it and I'll show you guys the end results. All right, so the paint that I put on it, it showed all the cracks on the board. So then I, I let it dry underneath a light for a couple of minutes to let it get tacky. And I put a blue coat on, which was this coat. I don't know if you see it or not. It was this coat of blue. Yeah, you know what I mean. So then I was gonna put another coat of white on it. Then I got thinking, I have Flex Seal in the house. So I sprayed Flex Seal on the board and this is what it looks like. This is a flex board, a flex seal bottom board. I cannot wait to see what this is gonna look like when it dries and f uh, fully cures. And it's got some kind of, it's got some rundown on it, but you know. So that was just a waiting game. So that's gonna be interesting. All right, welcome to the last part of my video. And my niece came up with the design for the skateboard that I was working on. And I painted the trucks a while ago too. Only thing we're gonna need on this is grip tape, bushings, basically probably all new trucks anyways, cause these are the older, these are all from like a, I wanna say like an old Kmart board or a Walmart board that I found laying around. So without further ado, this is the design she came up with. Used Sharpies and covered it in a matte clear coat thing. Now that is some creativity right there. I might, I might tell her if we buy blank boards, we can probably set something up so you can design them. Won't have the grip tape on it though. You, other people have to buy it, but I did notice it was cracked on the top when I took all this grip tape off too, so I'm not sure how long this board will last. Got to probably sand the top part down when I get some new grip tape. But no, other than that though, that's the end result, what she came up with. And I will start making attempts of trying to ride this. Even though I am not the right, even though I am not skateboard inclined or skateboard material. So probably once the weather warms up because right now it is snowing here, even though it's supposed to be spring, I will attempt to start learning how to ride this. So. Not bad. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see that. There's no bushing left. So I hope everyone enjoyed. And I will hopefully be back learning how to actually ride around on this. And who knows, I may be able to get up there and do some tricks. Yeah, yeah right. Until next time, this is Pony Joe. I'm signing off. Hope everyone enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time.